Hello everyone, I welcome you all to ATM Creations and I welcome you all to Zero to Hero series also. In this video, we are going to look at how important is the consistency of the paint in creating perfect dots. Now, what am I going to do is, I'm going to show you some of the uh, paint jars that I have. I'll clearly show you the consistency of the paint that I have and I'll keep some dots you see how it looks and then we will discuss about the difference between the dots and the consistency of the paint. Let's get started now. Now if you look at the consistency of the paint, it's actually a little thick. This kind of a thick paint is okay to keep one dot that comes perfectly. I'm going to try walking the dots. See, most of the paint is on the tool itself. It has not dripped onto the painting surface. See here, most of the paint is on the tool itself. That's because the paint is thick. Now, if you look at this pearl gray, this is little creamy in nature, not as thick as this blue that we saw earlier. Now, I'll show you the dotting and working the dots both. Now, I'm going to keep a single dot with this tool. Now though I used the same tool to keep these two dots, this dot is little bigger than the blue one. The reason is this grey color paint is not as thick as this blue. This is little creamy. So when I dipped my tool into the paint, I could pick up a lot of paint and when I dotted, the paint easily dripped onto the painting surface so I could create bigger dots. Now let me work the dots and show you. I'll pick up the same amount of paint as I did for blue. Obviously, I could keep more number of dots. That's because the paint easily dripped onto the painting surface from the tool and of course there is still more paint in the tool when you dip the tool into the paint and do working the dots you don't expect even every bit of the paint to drip onto the painting surface some paint will hold on to the tool you will have to clean it up while these two were the examples that i showed with metallic color and pearl color now I will show you an example with a normal acrylic color here. Now if you look at this is cream yellow which is very thick and I will show you how the dot appears if I am going to use this paint. I am going to use the same tool. See the paint is too thick that I am unable to pick up paint in the tool. I will anyway keep a dot and show you. Look at the quality of the dot this thick paint produces. It's not as good as these two. So now I'm sure you all understand how important is the consistency of the paint in creating perfect dots. I'll show you if at all working the dots is possible with this thick paint. You can see it yourself now. I'm doing my best to pick up as much paint as possible, but it is too thick. See, this is how the paint is picked up in this tool. Now, with this, I don't think walking the dots is possible. Anyway, I'll do. You just see the result. I don't think this comes as a dot at all in the first place. So, thick paint is not at all a best fit for dotting. Now, I'm going to show you a creamy consistency in a normal acrylic paint that I have. This is light blue color. See, when I pick up the paint, it should create a small kind of a mountain and then it should go down slowly which means the paint is creamy in nature. This is creamy consistency paint and this is perfect for dotting and also for walking the dots. Now I'm going to keep a dot with this paint. See how beautiful is this dot. Now I'm going to walk the dots with this.
so walking the dots also comes perfectly so here it is little bit here and there because i rotated the tool because the dot i was dotting like this the paint in that portion would have been lesser and when i rotated the tool the paint was more so the dot size varies here this is another example for right consistency of the paint this is sky blue color the earlier one was perfectly creamy this is in between creamy and thin i'll keep a dot now this dot is perfect too however when you compare the quality of dot the creamy paint has produced and this consistency is between creamy and thin so look at the dot this has produced uh, somehow i personally believe this is more beautiful to look at and this is not as much as this light blue i'll work the dots in this color now see if you look at the first dot that is produced by uh, the same tool during working the dots process here it is little smaller here it is little bigger the reason is i used the same tool i picked up almost the same amount of paint between this light blue and sky blue this is bigger and this is smaller only because here the consistency of the paint is uh, little between creamy and thin it is little runny and here it is lit pakka creamy so this paint stays on the tool for little longer here it drips off too quickly out of the tool so that is why the dots are much bigger here now for a beginner i would perfectly recommend the creamy consistency of the paint uh, because this would be little tough to manage this can definitely be managed but it could be little difficult for a beginner so i would suggest you always maintain a creamy consistency now what happens is uh, with this kind of a consistency in between creamy and thin now if at all you are going to tilt the painting surface after you paint chances are high that the paint is going to fall off you know if you keep it like this for a long time chances are high the paint is going to fall off now i'll show you one more this is an example for thin paint very thin now i'm going to keep a dot and work the dots with this i'll use the same tool i have been too cautious in picking up the paint because i know this is very thin so instead of dipping the entire tool i dipped only the tip of the paint so instead of dipping the entire tool i dipped only the tip of the tool now i'm going to work the dots with this tool now after picking up the paint i cannot be showing you see this is the amount of paint i have picked up because it's very thin paint and it is going to drip off very quickly so i will pick up the paint and start dotting immediately i'll also show you what if when the paint is thin what if you pick up the paint and don't start dotting immediately see i'll pick up the paint and and i don't start dotting immediately so what happens is the paint automatically drips off that's because the paint is too thin now if the paint is thin and you want to use it for dotting pick up the paint and start dotting immediately so now many people do ask me like if the paint is thin how do i bring it to the right consistency and here the paint is thick how do i bring this to a right consistency i'm going to tell you how i manage this is not the way everyone else manages this is only my way of doing things now what i do is i have this kind of an oil dispenser okay but there is no oil or anything there is only water so what i do is to the thick paint i pour few drops of water and then i mix it well i give a good mix for about 30 to 40 seconds see now this has come to creamy consistency earlier it was thick some of them do ask me 
मैम इफ यू पोर वाटर और इफ यू यूज वाटर टू थिन दी पेंट वोट इट क्रिएट अ ब्रेक Uh, when you start dotting, no, it doesn't create anything of that kind. It all depends on the quality of the paint that you buy. So when you buy a good quality paint, even if you add water to thin the paint, it is not going to break off when you paint. And now the next question is, how do I thicken this paint? This is already very thin. Now how do I bring this to right consistency? I have a little weird way of doing it. I'll just leave it open for an hour and then uh, give a good mix every 20 minutes. So in an hour, about two to three times, I just give a good mix. And in an hour, it comes to a right consistency and I keep it closed. If it is little more thicker than it is needed, I anyways have water, add drops of water, give a good mix and start dotting. I'm sure this video was very helpful to all of you as beginners to Dot Mandala journey. Thank you for watching this video.